I'm here with Patricia Keely Murphy. Patricia Keely Murphy has also graciously and generously donated to the Good Shepherd fundraising auction, which is going to take place on the 21st of June, hosted by Lieutenant Colonel Murph Larkin and the 3rd Battalion in St. James Stevens Barracks here in Kilkenny. Patricia, that, you know, that was very gracious of you, along with the other uh, artists here in Kilkenny, who so willingly donated to the Good Shepherd Centre. Yeah, well, it's the least I could do, really, to be honest. Um, when I first started out uh, painting, um, a lot of the local businesses were very supportive and helpful uh, for me. Um, and I think they gave me the confidence to keep doing what I'm doing, which I love doing. And I think that the Good Shepherd Centre gives that confidence to other people who really need it and they're there to help people and this is my way of paying it forward. It's a little bit that I can do to help. It's, so I had no problems donating at all. Like, you know. So you have um, been an artist for a good while and you have a very creative family. I do, I do <laughs> indeed. Yeah. yeah, I've been painting I suppose since 2010. Um, uh, my first exhibition was in 2012, thanks to Lockboy Library, a, lo a local business who, you know, they were there and uh, helped me out. Um, and yeah, my family, yeah, my dad was an artist. Um, so I suppose that's kind of where um, I get my creative gene from. Um, and I have a sister who's a VP of production in, uh, for an animation company over in Toronto. And my husband also, he likes to work uh, in leather and he makes sh uh, sheets for knives. And yeah, my daughter, hopefully now, she's doing her leaving at the moment, um, that she'll do uh, production design for stage and screen. That's what she's hoping to do. Well, we wish your daughter all the very best in luck in oh, her thank you. <laughs> leaving yeah. search and the results. Yeah. Tell us about your art. You exhibit every year in during Arts Week here down in Kilkenny do. in the Maze Walk. I do, yeah, yeah. And tell us about your art. Well, I suppose I'm inspired really by um, folklore and the natural world. Um, when I was growing up, I loved the tales of uh, Nafina and the two of the Dan and, and and the magic and mystery associated with them, and. I find that in the natural world as well. Um, you just have to open your eyes and look and you can find the magic there uh, right beside you, right in front of you. And yeah, so that's what I love doing. So uh, the likes, this is space, this is called um, uh, To the Sea of Moyle. Uh, it's uh, based on the story, The Children of Lear. So I like to bring in a bit of our Celtic heritage as well. And um, yeah, so I love painting this, Kind. And then I also enjoy using a palette knife, and this is one I called um, Mayflower. It's when I was walking down along the banks of the river, um, all the hawthorn uh, was in the flower, and it's just it's amazing to see. And I find that when you're using a palette knife, that it, it um, adds depth, and it adds depth and um, just atmosphere uh, to it. So I think the flowers really pop out of this one. Um, yeah, so so I love yeah so the natural world because there's, there's just so much there. Yeah. Describe the, the the painting above your head, the, the one with the tree. This the I called beneath the night sky. Um, trees is another thing that I love. I just uh, there's so much. Um, if they could tell us a tale, uh, their their story, uh, just it would be amazing to hear. Um, they're so trees grow so old um, yeah it's just the history that they would have um, and if you look at a tree there's always something you can see in a tree and it's I, like I've walked uh, in Castle Park and I've seen some trees that look like they're dancing um, so yeah so I enjoy this is a tree that is dancing beneath the sky um, yeah and I, I've tried to bring in a bit of um, mysticism I suppose with the way the moon is up there um, yeah but I think it's a it gives me a beautiful a feel, a feeling when I look at that painting yeah
Patricia, you're not just an artist and a mother and a, a wife and a daughter and an aunt and a friend. You're also uh, an author and an illustrator. You have written your own book. I have indeed, yeah. And you also have created the illustrations for the book as well. I have, yeah. Tell yeah. us about the book. Well, this has been going on. Um, this It's called Plop's Hat. Um, and it's been going on, actually, I've started this a good few years ago. Um, it was like, I think I wrote the story in 2014. So it's it's taken a while to get to this stage. Um, uh, yeah, and I, I, all the illustrations I've done myself. Um, and I put it all together myself. So at the moment, you see, it, it's fallen apart because it's only a proof. <laughs> um, I hope to, in the next few, few weeks, to actually have it uh, published. Um, yeah, so I'm just doing the final few text tweaks on it and then, yeah, it should be ready to go to the printer. So is there a certain story before, behind Plop's hat? It's a mushroom, is it? He is a fungal bod. Oh, uh -huh. yes. Um, the fungal bods are a society of uh, mushrooms. Um, and I think they encompass all things, incorporate all things Irish, like from our Celtic heritage to our folklore um, and, and even our sense of humour. Um, yeah, so uh, these lads, um, yeah, they're fun to draw, they're fun to paint. And uh, I think that not all art has to be serious. Um, you can have a bit of humour in it too. And yeah, so with these lads, um, this guy here is another pint, please. <laughs> um, who else but an Irish person can have a mushroom having a pint to Guinness now, you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> um, but yeah, so yeah, that's, that's the fungal bods. Patricia, tell us about this beautiful painting. I'm mesmerised by it and the, it, it's just talking to me. So tell me the story and the motivation behind this painting. Well, uh, I've called this one um, Arcana. It's uh, Mysteries and Secrets. And well, I take I walk a lot down by the, um, the River Noir along the banks there. And over the last few weeks, you see, the uh, fields have been just full of dandelions. And it just inspired me to actually seeing the dandelions in bloom and then the the sky was full of all the little uh, flyaways and it was just like wow you know what happened um who hit off it was it the wind that blew it or was it um an animal passing that knocked it and sent these flying into the sky and where are they going to land are they going to seed and it's just yeah it really brings it's a beautiful piece i love this and it just down by the river there it really inspires me to paint things like this. Absolutely. Patricia, I love this painting. Tell me about this painting. Describe your inspiration behind this painting. Uh, this painting is called Captive Audience. Um, uh, it was when I first started uh, using a palette knife. Um, I just, it, was, it was just great fun to put the paint down on canvas and see where it took me. Um, I had the idea in my head what I wanted to do, but uh, I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out. Um, yeah, so basically you have the lad over there on, on the right, on the left hand side of the painting. He is there talking um, and you have all these other people there and they're all just standing still listening to what he is saying. So what is he saying? Nobody knows. Well, we don't know, but we can guess. We can try and see, you know, think what it is that he is saying. Um, and just by accident, uh, after I'd finished the painting and I was looking at it, down on the floor looking at it, and I realised there was two shadowy figures quite large in the background. Yes. I hadn't actually even meant to put them there. They just actually turned up. <laughs> so they turned up to listen to what this person was saying. So was it he saying what they wanted him to say, or was it that they, what he was saying was so interesting that they had to come and listen? Hopefully we'll see it all down there um, at James Stevens Barracks where the 3rd Battalion and Lieutenant Colonel Mert Larkin is um, hosting this barbecue. It's on the 21st of June, so yeah, please come on down. Um, Cartoon Saloon are showing Song of the Sea and it's a wonderful film, so if you can get a chance you should come. And there'll be loads of food.